Hello, my name is Ibiana Labla, and in this video, I am going to talk about transistors. And these are my contents. In this video, we will see what a transistor is. Before the transistor existed, people used vacuum tubes. Well, a transistor is a solid semiconducting device with at least three terminals, and it is composed of silicon and germanium. Well, from the word transistor itself, Trans means transfer and ester means resistor. Thus, we can also say that transistor is transfer of resistor. And a transistor is often used for controlling, amplifying electrical or electronic signals. You can find a transistor in your own house. You can find it in any electrical appliances, TV, radio, and so on. In this figure, we can see the different types of transistors. Basically, there are two types of transistors and they are BJT that is bipolar junction transistor and FET field effect transistor. A BJT consists of two back-to-back -back PN junctions manufactured in a single piece of a semiconductor crystal. These two junctions give rise to three regions called emitter, base and collector. It is a current control device. Well, a FET is a three-terminal unipolar solid-state device in which current is controlled by an electric field. In FET, the three terminals are called gate terminal, source terminal, and the drain terminal. It is a voltage control device. Well, a BJT is further classified into two types, and they are NPN transistor and PNP transistor. FET is further classified into two types, JFET, junction field effect transistor, and a MOSFET, metal oxide semiconductor FET. In this video, I will not explain about FET, but I will explain only about BJT. Now we will see what a BJT is. Well, a BJT is a three-terminal semiconducting device whose three terminals are called base, emitter, and collector. And BJT is simply a sandwich of one type of semiconductor material between two layers of the other type. It consists of two PN junctions formed by sandwiching either P-type or N-type semiconductors between a pair of opposite sides. It is a current control device. It controls the amount of currents that flow through it and the charge carriers are electrons and holes. Now let us see what is an emitter, a base and a collector. In the picture we can see an emitter, a base and a collector. What is an emitter? In a transistor, an emitter is moderately sized and heavily doped as compared to the other regions where doping is a process of adding impurities in a semiconductor. Emitter supplies large section of majority charge carriers to the base. The majority charge carriers can either be electrons or holes. Emitter is in the left side of a transistor. Now we will go to base. Base. A base is lightly doped and is very thin as compared to the other regions. It is in between the emitter and collector or we can say it is in the middle of a transistor. Now we will see what a collector is. In transistor, a collector is large in size and is moderately doped as compared to the other regions. This region collects the major portion of majority charge carriers supplied by the emitter since it is larger in size. It is in the right side region of a transistor. In this picture, we can see a transistor and its three terminals namely emitter, base and a collector. What is NPN transistor? NPN transistor is made by placing a P-type semiconductor material between two N-type semiconductor materials as shown in figure 3. The symbol for NPN transistor is shown in figure 4. The arrow head in figure 4 indicates the directions of the flow of conventional currents and one should keep in mind that the arrow is always at the emitter and not at the collector. And we can see that the arrow points from the base to the emitter in NPN transistor. In NPN transistor, the electrons are the important carriers. This figure shows the connections of NPN transistor. In simple words, we can say NPN means negative, positive, negative. In this figure, we can see that there are two junctions and they are emitter base junction and collector base junction. And it is very important to apply voltages of correct polarity across the two junctions. When forward bias is applied to the emitter base junction, which causes the electrons in the n-type emitter to flow towards the base, this constitutes the emitter current. The base is p-type and the number of holes is very less since a base is very thin and lightly doped. Therefore, only a small number of electrons combined with the holes and this constitutes 
constitute a base current, while the remaining electrons cross over into the collector and this constitute the collector current. Thus, it is quite obvious that the emitter current is equal to the base current and the collector current. What is PNP transistor? PNP transistor is made by placing an n-type semiconductor material between two p-type semiconductor materials as shown in figure 5. The symbol for PNP is shown in figure 6. In figure 6, we can see that the arrow points from the emitter to the base. In PNP transistor, the holes are the important carriers and the only difference between the NPN and PNP transistor is in the direction of the current. This figure shows the connection of PNP transistor. And we can simply say that PNP means positive, negative, positive. And when forward bias is applied in the emitter base junctions, it causes the holes in the P-type emitter to flow towards the base. And this constitutes the emitter current. The base is N-type in this case, and it is slightly doped and thinned. And therefore, there is only small number of electrons, and thus only a few holes combined with the electrons. And this constitutes the base current while the remaining holes cross over into the collector to constitute the collector current. We should keep in mind that the emitter base junction of a transistor is forward bias whereas collector base junction is reverse bias. One should also keep in mind that a transistor will never conduct any current if emitter base junction is not forward bias. Basically, there are three types of circuit connections called configurations for operating a transistor and they are common base configuration, common emitter configuration and common collector configuration. The term common refers to any terminal, it can be an emitter, base or collector that is common to the input and output circuit. This is a diagram of a common emitter configuration. In common emitter configuration, the emitter electrode is grounded and the base current is the input current whereas the collector current is the output current and the input signal is applied between the base and emitter whereas the output signal is taken out from the collector and the emitter circuit. The complete electrical behavior of a transistor can be described by stating the interrelation of the various currents and voltages. These relationships can be conveniently displayed graphically and the curves thus obtained are known as the characteristics of a transistor. And therefore, the input characteristic of common emitter is the curve between the base currents and the base emitter voltage at constant collector emitter voltage. And the output characteristic is the curve between the collector currents and the collector emitter voltage at constant base current. This is a diagram of a common base configuration and in this configuration the base terminal is grounded and the emitter current is the input current whereas the collector current is the output current and the input signal is applied between the emitter and base whereas output is taken out from the collector and base. The input characteristic of a common base configuration is a curve between the emitter currents and the base emitter voltage at constant collector base voltage and the output characteristics is the curve between the collector currents and the collector base voltage at constant emitter current. This is the diagram of a common collector configuration and in this case the collector terminal is grounded and the base current is the input current whereas the emitter current is the output current. Input signal is applied between the base and collector and output signal is taken out from the emitter collector circuit. The input characteristic of a common collector configuration is a curve between the base current and the collector base voltage at constant collector emitter voltage and the output characteristic is a curve between the emitter current and the collector emitter voltage at constant emitter current. I hope that after watching this video you learned something about transistor. Thank you.